global economy, the age of Aquarius, a number of different names they can refer to it as, uh, and cause everybody to join and be initiated, which is a Luciferian initiation, into this one world kingdom that's coming uh, by the chip, the name, the number, or the name. And so that will, that will double damn your soul. Anybody who gets that will be cast into a lake of fire when they die. There's no redemption from that. You can't cut off your hand later and get out of it. Uh, the second you get it, you're, 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 you're damn your soul. Your soul is damned. Um, so until that happens, uh, and it's not too far down the road. You know, I like to say, oh, this is way in the future. No, this, this really isn't too far down the road. In fact, I look for uh, worldwide chipping enforcement probably about three months after this Jesus will arrive, this Sananda, and he'll arrive in a September, uh, either this September or next September. As soon as I figure out if we're in the biblical year 2009 or not, we're still, you know, just in 2008 this year. So it will be this September or next September. But you're going to see my chair arrive first. The Arabian beast I've been warning about. Several months later in September, you'll see Sananda arrive. And uh, that's when you know uh, the three and a half second part of the tribulation period is about to begin. <laughs> You're going to go through a little bit of a lull space when, when Jesus first arrives. The Sananda, his terrestrial being, uh, I talk about him a little bit in all my articles on my websites. Um, when he arrives in September, uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb, maybe he's going to mimic that. Maybe mimic a rapture by uh, whisking couple hundred thousand people off the earth with their UFOs. I know the New Age camp teaches that they're going to protect their followers from the coming cleansing. Uh, and so they, they tell them uh, to meet them in certain places and they're going to get a ride from UFOs. Uh, and Mary Kay Baxter talks about uh, when she was taken to hell and given visions of hell uh, by the Lord, which I believe was probably Sananda and, and not the Lord, but either way. The Lord can use her experience to warn others. Uh, she saw UFOs full of people coming into hell and being unloaded. Uh, so there's your, your big help from your big ascended masters and New Age buddies for the, the, the New Age deceived. <laughs> they got to give you a ride straight to hell. Uh, and of course they don't, they don't tell their followers that. They tell them they're gonna take them, uh, to protected areas or a protected planet or whatever. It's a bunch of hogwash, folks. Um, the whole cleansing program is nothing but depopulation and murder. It has nothing to do with ascension. It has to do with, with changing and tweaking human DNA so that you're no longer human. You can become easily possessed by them. Uh, the women would no longer give birth to human children, you would be giving birth to androgynous beings. Uh, they're messing with human DNA. Just another part of their, their whole ballpark plan. Uh, and they're going to do it through, uh, you know, the different various ways they can enforce white powder gold with or without the public knowing. Uh, with these cleansing programs, depopulation, uh, using religious terms, disguising themselves as religious beings, Turning on the light around them, the illumination, so they, they can, can uh, pass off as angelic beings when they're just terrestrial beings. They'll have Obama glowing and George Bush, if he sticks around long enough, glowing. I don't think he's figured out exactly which route he's going yet. Because uh, either he's going to be transformed and, and permutated by this white gold, or he's going to be killed. And so, uh, won't know until we see it happen. Uh, window is still there for him to choose his own route, which one he's going to take. Uh, so a lot of interesting things coming up. Um, right now for March, uh, you know, still stands Ashes in Damascus. Watch for that one. Uh, watch for fire in, in, in our space, uh, maybe on the moon. Uh, watching other UFOs hitting the earth, crashing the earth. Uh, the coming famine, the coming arrival of Maitreya. Uh, so March could be a really, a really interesting month. Um, if he comes, if this is the March this year, 2008, uh, we're going to have problems with Internet access. And I'm not sure if this is particular to Israel in Israel 
or Israel in the United States today? The people. <laughs> because there's always uh, a distinction between Yeretz Israel uh, and then the people of Israel. And the people of Israel scattered around the world. Um, he's going to try to take down the internet and, and push it all of them would just go along with him. We would lose a lot of our internet access. We're going to lose a lot of big mouths. He's going to disguise. He's going to come after the Christians. This is going to be a, a, a tray of war on the Christians. He's going to come against the Christians. They're going to hide it uh, through martial law. I've been talking about that. Uh, and they've already set up for this. Uh, next week I'm going to get into uh, the camps, internment camps they have. And, and, and you can Google Rex84, uh, which was their plan. And right now Halliburton has control of setting up these internment camps. They have over seven, 800 across the United States. Under the guise of rounding up illegal aliens as possible terrorists, or just because they're illegal, not allowed to be here, they're going to round them up, put them in these camps, and then supposedly ship them home. Well, they're using all this as a guise, so they can round up Christians and then throw them in with the, the illegals, and nobody knows anything different about it. Nobody, you know, everybody just goes back to sleep. You know, they'll, they'll stop take their television cameras and show a bunch of illegal aliens being arrested and shipped back to Mexico. And what they won't show you is the ten busloads of patriots and Christians behind that one busload of Mexicans uh, being put into these camps and then taken on trains and killed. Now, it's going to be a facade. You're going to see a lot of media blackouts hiding the truth of what's really going on. Uh, we've already seen that plenty with our own media, the blackouts on their homegrown radicalization bill. You never see that on television. Ask adults around the, our country today about that homegrown radicalization bill. They don't know what you're talking about. And this was the bill back in September, October of last year that paved the way for everything we're going to be seeing in martial law. And I warned back then they were coming up with legislation to stop the Oregon Warriors, stop the Patriots. We saw that passed in December or January. It's the same thing they're going to be using or pull out. Also, another thing you're seeing is the King George mentality, King Obama, saying anything against the emperor, and you could be beheaded for blasphemy. See this one coming up. Uh, and that's what I was talking about. I mentioned Sharia law. Sharia law. Uh, talked about that kid a couple weeks ago, a college kid who had printed something out, uh, was found guilty right away of blasphemy and then killed, beheaded. 23 years old in college. This is what they're going to be doing, folks. And this is how they're going to get the big mouths. <laughs> this is how they're going to silence the big mouths. And they have all these little, legis- you know, hidden hidden legislations in place that they can pull out. Uh, so just a few heads up. Uh, I might get us some questions. Uh, just a few of them tonight. Uh, how do you pronounce Yahweh? It's Yahuwah. Uh Looks like they pronounce Yah. It looks like Yahua. It's Yahua. It's uh, Y A H U A H. Uh, Yahua. Uh, takes practice. Uh, a question from a reader. Hi Sherry. When things start to happen, when martial law begins, and the father starts to leave these people to flee, how will he con- how will he convince our families to leave? If it was me. I would have been gone a very long time ago. Uh. He's not going to convince you to leave. If you don't want to leave, you can die. Uh, I don't, you know. <laughs> uh, martial law, you know. If he's telling you to leave and you don't leave, don't expect, uh, you know, a big hand from the sky yanking you with your hair and pulling you somewhere. I don't believe that's going to be the case for most of the church, so many way. Um, he's telling you to get to the high and the dry places. Uh, especially when you see the big mouths getting detained. You know, soldiers and warriors are right behind him. Satan's uh, war on the saints. One of the first things he does when he comes to earth, uh, it's in Revelation chapter 13. One of the first things this beast does is start a war against the saints. People just won't recognize it for what it is because it's disguised uh, in martial law and legislations. Uh, But everything they do is through legislations, folks. You'll see it all the time. Statutes, treaties, concordats, pacts. Today's terminology, that's law. 